Um, on the question of the unfrozen revenues, um, we've heard a lot about how Iran will or won't use the revenues. I think only uh, Iran knows the answer to this question fully and maybe only the supreme leader of Iran. Um, but I'll tell you, my view is under President Rouhani, uh, in his first budget, there was an increase in military and security spending. Um, and I would expect that Iran's regional priorities are sufficiently important that it's going to use some of this money on regional priorities. Um, we've seen a decline, for example, in the funding that Iran has given to Hezbollah in recent years. It wouldn't surprise me if that went back up. It wouldn't surprise me if some of this money went into uh, defending the Assad regime uh, or into Hamas or Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Um, and that's for two reasons. One is simply that these are important issues to Iran. They've shown that time and time again, when we would have thought it would be prudent for them to develop their own country, they've instead spent the money on a nuclear program or terrorist groups or things which don't benefit Iranians. Um, and second, from a macroeconomic perspective, there's a reason that you wouldn't necessarily want to immediately repatriate $50 uh, billion dollars or what, whatever the exact figure is because of the sort of inflationary or currency right. effects that might have. Um, so I, I do expect they'll use some on, on things which we find very concerning. Um, we do, I think, have tools uh, at the Treasury Department uh, to try to track these things, to try to interdict these things. But frankly, some of the removal of the sanctions on the banks uh, and the, now the much more permissive environment will, I think, complicate that. It'll be a harder task. Uh, and we'll need to be quite sure that banks around the world understand that we're still determined to enforce the sanctions which are on the books uh, and make sure they understand what those sanctions are. And so we'll need to be engaged in, I would say, as heavy an educational campaign, an enforcement campaign, as we were in, say, the 2007-2008 period when sanctions were ramping up. Thank you, Mr. Katolis. Just really quickly, because I think uh, Mike covered much of your